Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to insert or put an image in your Excel file from your Android app. So let's begin. We'll name this application probably insert image in Excel. You can name it anything, this app, of course. Yeah, and I click finish. I'll wait for the ID to load up. Once the ID loads up, the first and foremost thing I will do it is I'll go to my Gradle file and implement the libraries which we will need. So over here we will need implementation of and we'll need something from Apache all dot Apache dot UI UI and the version which I will use is 5.1.0 but you can check the latest version which is available at that point of time at a point of time when you are doing this development I think 5.1.0 is the latest as of now so that's what I'm using and before getting into the Java code or something I'll also go to the manifest file and quickly give the user permission of reading and writing the external stories yeah that's it Okay, perfect. And in the Java code, probably I'll first and foremost do it is I will just ensure that activity compare dot request permission new string manifest dot permission dot light external storage and also manifest dot permission dot read external storage and Yeah, so this line will ensure that I get the permission to access the file system, the external storage of the device. Perfect. Now, before getting into further Java, or probably I will do one thing. I'll also create one public view and empty matter for the timing. No, I think I did something. Public white and then button insert image view view. Yeah, so we'll use this method to trigger our uh, uh, functionality. But before that, we'll go back to our go to our XML layout and over here, just zoom in so that we can see what we are doing over here. And over here, uh, I don't need a text view definitely. I will need a button. Uh, but before that button, I think I'll also need a plain text just to insert or get the name of the image which I want to insert so I will just probably uh, I will remove the text and I'll put some kind of hints over here hints could be okay if I go further down uh, image name perfect okay and I think I will also remove this long name over here refactor anyway they shouldn't be anything much to refactor to be honest and then there are some hard-coded text you just fix it one by one use autofill uh, you can just fix this as well I think this if I click fix this should go away and this I can ignore I don't think I need something of this kind yeah Okay, even if this, this error, I think we can ignore. I'm not sure why it's not going, but it's okay. And what else we'll do it is we will put some button, not some one button, uh, to insert the image. So I'll just say insert image. And I'll give this so once we have put this uh, insert image okay I think I should zoom out a little bit to see okay uh, button has come on top no problem and what we can do it is we can probably uh, bring it somewhere down and also I think this is uh, yeah I want to pull it 
on the top so i will remove that constraint or to the button and yeah this is better and i put the constraints back so but still there are few errors and warnings i think this use autofill we can definitely fix and other things you can ignore i think hardcore text of course we'll just quickly fix it yeah perfect uh, what else can we do it is we can just insert an image view and that's the image we will be using uh, that's the widget we will be using to show our output it seems there is some problem with this layout so what i will do is i just remove all the widgets and one by one i will add them again so of course i need plain text as well and the other one i will need is image view the place where we will show the image which we are using i'll just use any kind of background over here yeah perfect so once i have done this i will just try to be as minimal as possible over here i'll one by one start putting the con constraints yeah so so this will contain the name of our image and then the second could be the constraints of uh, button and button could be uh, we can name it as insert image yes perfect and we can really bring it in the center and this could be again i'll put some constraints here perfect still there are few errors so i think some of this we will just ignore and just let me see if i can fix this and that's all i guess and a few hard just we, i click ok over here place of things i can ignore probably or i can just fix this as well it will insert to do's so i just create a resource for to do's yeah other things i will ignore for a time being and i'll jump to the java code uh, before i go to the java code i'll do one thing quickly i will okay i will like to rename this also again and let it refactor of course and also i will do is i will go to this button 8 and uh, okay i'm not sure why it didn't rename over here it's giving some error but i will just yeah perfect and i'll go to the on click attribute over here if you scroll down and make sure that this gets associated with this method which we have just now described in the java code perfect and in the java code what we'll do is we'll first no not protect it. i'll create few private variables one will be of course the edit text and we will associate this java variable to the find view by id r dot id dot edit text so this is the particular uh, widget in the layout the other thing which we will associate is the image view so we'll create another java variable called image view and again we will associate it with the image view find view by id r dot id dot image view okay i think this is three over there but i will not i will like to change it back to one because yeah that gives a better of the leaf factor and that should be fine unless there is some error again compilation error I think most of these things we can ignore we can what we can do is we can quickly go to the code view and see if there is any error and it doesn't look like so it's pretty good and some of this compilation error was coming from java code because it was late so now it looks good now over here perfect what else we'll need is we'll need a class variable for our file path so i can create a file variable called file path and we can initially keep it null we'll assign it in our on create method over here so what we can do it is we can create our excel file on which we write so any name we can give so say for new file and get external uh, files directory this will refer to the files directory of this particular app so that's pretty good i mean it will be just encapsulated in this particular app and excel 
file dot excel is x you can name this file anything uh, it's i need not to say that perfect so that's all i think from this on create method and now we'll start our main method over here uh, which is uh, the button insert image so i will just focus on the inserting of the image in this particular uh, app so first let's create a string variable which contains the path of the my image file image file path probably image file path perfect and i'm using an uh, variable called environment environment dot get external storage that's deprecated but just for simplicity i'm using it uh, get So I think I should have used not the state but get a storage external storage directory and then get path yeah so this is very easy and handy for security reasons um, Google is no more allowing but that's fine for the time being we'll just use for simplicity and we'll just see edit text dot get text dot to string so this will give me the file name of the image which we want to insert and the extension i'm just assuming that extension will be jpg but yeah you can also take this as an input from the user okay so once we have the file name what we'll do is probably oh, one more thing i'll do before i go further i will just encapsulate everything into a try catch so that exception everything is pretty much well protected our app doesn't crash us so i can do control for indentation is control alt i you can press okay so once we have it then what we can do it is we can just quickly create bit, bitmap and over here we can use bitmap factory and decode bitmap by file probably the file name which we have and we'll use our image file to get the bitmap out of it it will just uh, gets into the bits and before we proceed anything uh, we do anything further let's set the image over here quickly so we can use the set image bitmap and we will use the bitmap just know what we have created above so this will ensure that our in the layout this particular uh, image is set over here okay i go back to the java code and over here now what we'll do is we'll extract the bytes out of it so byte output stream and byte output stream any variable name you can give so new byte output stream and this will create me our object over here and next what we'll do is we'll just compress our bitmap whatever we have created into this particular output stream but before that what we'll use is we'll use compressed format which could be jpg of course and quality and the one variable which we have used just now over our so once we have it then we can extract the byte array out of it bytes of image probably we'll name it and byte array to byte array perfect so this will give me the uh, bytes of the bitmap the image in a compressed format so once we have the byte format then we can start our writing or creating our document so for that we have already inserted uh, in the gradle file we have already implemented that hopefully we'll use the uh, apis from that particular so just press alt enter and it will import the respective classes over here so if I go on the top, I should be able to see this particular uh, HSW workbook. And this will use to create our workbook, which is nothing but the Excel file over here. And the syntax will be like this. So once we have our <coughs> Excel file created, it's a blank empty, you can say. Now we can start putting our picture into it, whatever we have just now created in the byte format above. So into picture we'll just get the index back over here and so let me just complete then you'll realize that why we need this index because we'll use this index to write to a particular sheet so right now we are just importing the complete picture into this workbook and for that we'll need the byte so bytes image and the second is format so format could be 
probably jpg is what we are using so jpg image we, we will be using but yeah you can use according to your needs and once we have that then we can use something called uh, creation helper so uh, once we have this we will just no it shouldn't be it should be creation helper dot so here it shouldn't be creation it should be like yeah the hss workbook what we, we have created and then we can get the creation helper from there so this is basically giving me a uh, kind of a kind of template where we can write our or draw our pictures and now what we'll do is we'll do something called anchoring so we'll create our uh, client anchor and so this, this is basically telling the program where to position your particular picture in the workbook or worksheet and here i will use the creation helper what we have just now created above and we'll create a client anchor over here and in this client anchor we'll one by one set the rows and columns to start with so column is nothing but it will start with zero so the first column which is basically column a will start with zero column b will start with one two probably will start with one so that column b and then we'll set the client anchor set row one which is again nothing but row here zero it will start from zero by the way so we can set it to one which starts basically from row two and again we can set it to column ah, this is the ending point so let's assume that it ends after the five columns so uh, yeah after four columns basically so uh, we'll set it five so it starts at b then c d and e it will end at column e and similarly we can do it for the row so set row 2 which is the ending point and here we will probably expand it so that it goes up to uh, 11th 11th column basically okay so 10 is nothing but 11 oh sorry here 5 is nothing but column f not e okay so index starts from column 0 anyway you can play with these numbers later also and now once that is ready then what we can do it is we can create our sheet so sheet is basically the place where we'll write workbook is the complete document the complete excel file and sheet is the way we'll draw it so we'll create a create sheet and you can name it if you require programmer word you can name it anything over here it doesn't matter or you can leave it blank also and now we will do something is we'll create a uh, object called drawing which is inside the SSS sheet and for this we'll create a drawing pattern basically now we are importing the image the picture what we have created here in the workbook to a particular sheet over here so that's what we are trying to do over here and then now we'll use this drawing picture to create the picture basically and anchoring we have already got so we'll anchor it at the respective position and we have the index of the picture which is nothing but here this is the index which or probably i should name it like index it sounds or it looks better and similarly i'll just date it here perfect and now if i proceed further so i will just create this particular uh, row of course and row could be from one and then i'll just create the cell again we are asking for the column which is of course again one so this is basically the starting of this the column and the row over here we are starting so we are i'm just creating the first row and the column so that we start or, or make that particular cell over here and once we have it then i think we are kind of done here uh, this image is will be drawn on this sheet at this particular position and now we're going to start writing to our file so we'll just create a file output string over here for that particular purpose and what we'll use is the file which we have created uh, above the file path the excel file path to create our output string and here then we'll use our workbook to write to this 
output stream and that's all is what I guess and now we can start closing it so we can just create and close it or uh, before that we can flush it also so that everything is clean or probably we can also check whether file output stream is not null then only do it of course so I will just control x control v okay and once that's done I think I should also close my workbook over here close perfect I don't think there's anything else left I will just try to run it in my emulator and in the meantime I'll just clean up the spaces which got created so I think this code looks good to me let the emulator come up I'll switch to the emulator once the emulator is up and running. In the meantime, I'll just clean up the code over here. So, emulator is still loading up, so we have to wait over here. So let me see. Yeah, emulator has come up and is asking me to allow, of course, allow the access to the external external images. And let's try to test. But before I go and test this app, I like to show you something that already what I have done. I have downloaded a couple of images. Okay, I don't know why it went. I already downloaded a couple of images and named them as trees.jpeg and butterfly.jpeg so we will be using these images in our app so let me go and put the name first trees let's see how lucky it is so if I can see nothing is happening here the trees is not coming up I mean the image is not coming up on this image view so I was expecting this line mark 56 to come up but I think what's the problem in over here is this download I am I missed this particular slice over here so let me see if it works now I will re run the app and see how it whether it fixes the problem yeah perfect so if you notice that was a small error we were missing this particular slice it fixed it and now I can see the image I know I have to see whether the Excel file has been created or not. So I'll go to the uh, again the my folders and here I'll go to the Android folder and data and here I have to go to that my particular uh, uh, inside the data go to the, your particular app. So here you can see the name it should match the name on the top of your uh, particular java file which is basically the package name of your particular app and once you go inside go inside the excel and i can see there is a file which has got created with the same file name which we have used here so i'm trying to open it and let's wait for it to load up okay i don't need to see any particular add as of now and let's see what it comes up Perfect. So if you can see, we have got the particular image in our file Excel file dot x and it starts from the second uh, uh, this one second row because if I go back to my anchoring point, so my anchoring point starts at first row, like basically the index is one, so which starts at zero, so one equivalent to two. And it ends at tenth row, which is basically eleventh row. So if I go here, so if you notice, it ends at eleventh, just before eleven. And similarly, it starts from column or uh, column B and ends just before column F. So as I told, like this is the ending uh, index, and this is the starting index. Perfect. I'll also do one thing. I'll just uh, okay. I don't have to read and I think the same app we can do. We'll I'll go back. And uh, I think I will just switch to my app here and in this app I, instead of trees I'll use the other image just to see whether it works or not butterfly 
I think the spelling is wrong that's why it's not working so it is butterfly and if I retry it came something came up now let me go back to my excel file and see uh, whether it works or not so of course it should work logically but I'm just waiting so I'm not sure it's a bit slow but still it's working so perfect if you see of course the image is not pretty good I don't know why something went wrong in the rendering but otherwise at least the image is coming up so that's all I wanted to show very quickly it's pretty easy and simple what you have to do is just uh, take the image name okay I think again I just got confused here yeah take the image name or this image I'm taking as an input from the user but you can also use it as a uh, image coming from somewhere con convert it into bitmap and then just put it as a compressed format into a bytes and then just follow this code over here that you just create an index out of this picture and then put an anchoring and then draw it on the sheet using the drawing uh, object and that's it that's about it. it's so simple and straightforward i hope this video is useful to you to insert the image into your excel file and if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching